Hi, in this video we're going to be turning your stop motion images into a stop motion animation. Uh, these are some of the animations I made earlier just with a camera and tripod. And they're pretty lame, but anyways. Uh, create a new document first. Use the plain one, not the uh, presets because they're not going to be very useful. Uh, name it, and then press OK. So, first of all, we're going to have to drag and drop all the images in. Uh, make sure they're ordered. It'll make it a lot easier in the long term. Otherwise, you would have to reorder them, and that would just be a bit annoying. Now, on the top right, it's processing. So, we're just going to have to wait for that. You can't really edit them while they're processing. It limits you a little bit. Alright, so when that's done, we're going to go up to here and click Crop. Make sure it's, you press Command A to highlight them all. And then we're going to choose either Crop to Fill or Fit. Um, make sure it's not on Keyband, otherwise it does this weird in and out thing and that just won't look very good at all. So either have it on Fit to Crop or have it on uh, Crop to Fill, or Fit or Crop to Fill. Now. I usually use fit and then I can crop it later on when it's already in um, full video format. Now let's go command A again and change the duration. At the moment they're really slow, they're about 4 seconds each, so that would just be like a slideshow speed. The lowest it goes is 0 0.1 second, so we're limited at that by using iMovie. Um, but still pretty good speed, like I don't think I would have it any faster than that. Um, and you can change it and you make it slow as you want but you just can't make it any faster. Now, there's a stabilization option up on the top here but you can only really change that when it's in video format and since it's not we'll have to export it first and then bring it back in time maybe and then stabilize it if you find your video is a bit shaky. Once you're happy with the speed and the order of your frames uh, go up to share and click file then name it, description, everything, resolution, and now quality, it's best to keep it on high, otherwise it, you know, it multiplies tremendously file size, um, and no one's going to notice a uh, video being that much different in quality, to be honest. Now, name it, save it to desktop, and we're going to have to wait for it to process. Alright, it's done, and we can view it now. I've got it on, um, I'll open it in VLC, you guys might open it in QuickTime, but it's just the same. And now it should be fully animated. Now there are other ways of doing it, um, I found this the easiest, I did try Photoshop, and I'll show you that in a second, but I couldn't render it, which was kind of annoying. Now we'll go open up Photoshop, and I'll show you how you can do it in there. Alright, so go and drag one of the images into Photoshop. Now go up to File, New, and then grab, um, then go to Customize section and click on the JPEG that you just placed. This is giving us our file dimensions for the, uh, for the images to be placed on. Now go up to Window and select Timeline. This will give you the animation kind of bar or where you're going to put your frames right all right so create new video into timeline now click this little symbol here and and add media now we're going to go locate all our images and open them up all right so once you've got them just command a to highlight them all then open them up and they should appear in the timeline in the right order hopefully <laughs> i'm sure it would be all right now click the box, um, the little icon with three boxes, and this will change it into a kind of frame format. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this blank frame here by clicking the uh, trash can. You'll probably have one too. And now the frames are five seconds each, and they're kind of like a slideshow speed again, so we'll have to change that. Um, to change it, we just need to go highlight them all by clicking this icon over here selecting all frames and then going down to the little drop down icon and clicking 0 0.1 seconds and this will speed up the uh, 
animation just like it did in iMovie and make it a lot faster. Now the reason why it's um it's a bit sketchy here is because the my computer's trying to keep up, but next time around, yep, yeah, see? It works properly. So that's the way you do do that to get it going, and you have to go file and export render video. That's uh how you change it into a video of course. But I can't do that for some reason. My computer kind of screws up and stops um stops the Photoshop stops working. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on how to do that. Sorry it's been a bit long, but uh I just wanted to show you both ways of doing it that I knew of. Anyways, have fun animating and have a good one.